Hey, welcome back to Blood on the Snow. Well, we've got a name for it now. It's a bit generic, but it'll do. Uh, this is turn three. Uh, we're still in the process of uh, deploying. We've had like a bit of a traffic snarl up here, uh, which has slowed us down. Uh, but out here on this flank, uh, we're doing pretty well. It's, uh, the only thing slowing us uh, down is the terrain. Uh, having to negotiate through all these uh, uh, fences and little bits of uh, ter uh, mud. That kind of thing. Um, but we're but we're getting there. Bigger problem uh, is that I haven't yet uh, spotted uh, any of J Timo's Americans. They have certainly spotted uh, at least this BTR, which got hit by a tow missile in the last um, uh, in the last video. Everybody inside there is dead. Uh, the whole squad. Unfortunately, that also includes. Um, it was the HQ element for the recce platoon. Uh, for the recce platoon, which is great. Um, uh, so what we're doing over here is uh, this BTR 82 is going to be uh, spamming 30 millimeter cannon fire in the general direction of uh, where the tow missile came from. Hopefully we might actually see something. Uh, it's popping smoke at the same time to protect itself because it's kind of hulled down. But that just, you know, that was a tow missile with the top attack mode. So it flies over the target and then fires the shape charge downwards into it. So being hulled down isn't a massive help. Um, so hopefully we're going to... Um, not die with this with this one. Uh, it is um, thermal blocking smoke, uh, so it should save the uh, the BTR from any um, uh, any thermal observation uh, with all those American thermal optics. They have down to squad level now, uh, which might help it survive a little bit longer. And uh, at the same time, obviously, I don't want the um, the seven-man recce team on the inside to get incinerated, uh, so they're going to be bailing out and uh, legging it back here to get away from any potential ammo cook-offs uh, in that BTR. Uh, also uh, worthy of note, um, or something to look for, uh, the BRDN up here. Uh, the BRDN up here uh, can't quite see down this way. It's going to nudge forward a little bit so we can see uh, if we can see anything down here. Just some kind of vague spot would be nice because I've no idea what's going on right now. Um, yeah, that is about it. Let's just press that go button. And yeah, good place for the camera. That's probably good enough. Let's. Watch it all collapse. Hey, there's some Americans uh, up on the right flank there. And a striker. Okay, so uh, imminent contact pretty much everywhere by the looks of that. Yep, somebody's shooting the BRDM. And there goes the BTR on the left. But at least we got the infantry out. <laughs> That's a plus side. So, uh, welcome to the world of playing the Russians. What's that, that javelin team? No, they're just relocating. 
bot on the night and relocate and just moving. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's start on the left and see what we get. Uh, so we do get some shots off with the cannon. Um, they are air bursting cannon rounds. So actually, if something is pulled down behind here, like a Humvee, this is probably doing absolute jack. See, this modern technology stuff is not always an advantage. Um, and... It apparently didn't pop smoke like I wanted it to. Yeah, I think it might not have done. Uh, sometime, I think that was the same damn thing anyway. Uh, sometimes when you pop smoke, or pop smoke is in the target command, so it might have not popped smoke. Uh, because I told it to fire at that area. So that was smart, hapless, well done. Uh, so what I should have done was pop smoke, reverse like an action square, or have a reverse um, point like where the BR, where the BTR is, uh, and then um, then have it fire from the other waypoint. But hey ho, let's have a look at that missile. Oh, so again, it's just right at the end of the turn. And it's another tow. The difference is we're not even seeing it that time. Yeah, score another one for the tow missile. Uh, but at least these guys got out okay. They can they can sit down here and be a minor pain in the ass uh, until they get wiped out. Cool. Um, let's check what happened up on this flank. So we see some uh, did see some Americans up here. Yeah, there we go. We are now legging it. That's a scout team. Uh, just an infantry scout team. Uh, like the, the detached scout squad or scout element from an infantry squad. Who can see them? They can. You want to shoot at them, maybe? Just, just maybe. We'll have a look at that in a sec. So that's that's great. Uh, so he knows. Uh, hey, look, they've got a fence in the house. Stylish. Um, so is that maybe a Humvee? He's punched a Humvee up here, dumped it in this uh, dead ground, and then popped a scout team forward to have a look. Um, don't really want to attack anything with just the one squad. I'm um, kind of set up to receive here. And of course the BRDM. Um, well, it might actually shoot something, but... Uh, let's eyeball that... Striker. Hello. Goes out of sight just 
just before uh, the BRDM spots it. So we know there's a striker down here. And, oh, there, yeah. No? It's got to be hanging around here because that fence hasn't broken. Uh, and then there's some American infantry here who is uh, shooting up the front of the BRDM. Can you see that? Because that missile sounded like it came from around here. Mm. Maybe not. Uh, of course, one possibility is that JTM has a drone up. Um, I did say. No off-map assets, but the Raven drone uh, is a little man-portable UAV, so it is an on-map asset, really. Uh, so he could potentially be watching all of this, which is naturally extremely reassuring. Uh, so we know we've got some enemy up here. Uh, it's probably going to be... S do I want to punch up here and clear this flank? Or do I want to try and remain on the... Def do I want to go firm? Go on the defensive? You know, I have this wonderful little reverse slope to play with here. You know, so do I want to keep hold of that? It's going to be quite handy. Uh, yeah. Not 100% sure on that one. I'll have a think. Uh, over here, we are definitely going to have to go firm because uh, we're not going around that corner. We haven't even seen anything and everything's on fire. Uh, but if he's going this way, he's almost certainly going to be pushing into this bit of the village. So I think if we occupy this tree line, and we get some um, stuff set up here, it really want to, to maximize the Russians' chances here, I really want to be on the defensive. Uh, that's not to say I don't want to be active about it, uh, because, you know, if I can present a, um, a vacuum to him somewhere, I can maybe lure him into a fire sack. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. Let's just do one more run through just to see if I've missed anything. There was another infantry spot up there at some point, wasn't there? No, that's just the javelin team. Oh, hey, dead cows. Hello, dead cows. Uh, where actually is said javelin team? <laughs> so somebody can spot him somewhere. Let's turn that objective off. There he is, standing in the bush. Uh, so, we've seen strikers, and actually, let's go double check what kind of striker it was. Uh, I think it's got the RWS turret. The tree off? Yes, it does. So, that's just an infantry carrying striker. Not a rookie vehicle striker. Cool, let's let that be a BRDM shoot stuff up there. Exerts uh, you know, a little bit of pressure, at least. Guys, need to split. Um, 
can cut that off. In fact, let's get the um, the BTR through that gap in the hedge. Uh, and then punch him up there. Uh, well, we can sort of cover this area. I'm pretty convinced that he can see a bit better there than the game is making out. Instead of bringing this, because we know there's enemy infantry here, and enemy infantry, even with the uh, grenade launchers, like the underbarrel uh, M320s they've got, can destroy these. <laughs> They're so fragile. Um, I'm just going to pull that back a little bit. Uh, to somewhere where it can still cover this uh, area here. Try and get a little bit of infantry support up for it. Arrow key hold up through there, that's cool. That covered, that's cool. So these are the guys that I was actually worried about most, but. Kind of covering off this end of the village. Let's turn the objectives back on. Get those in that building. Uh, split them down and push them up there. these guys out up around here. Ah, what's going on with the, the recce guys? I need to split down. Ooh, they're a little suppressed. them out to the flank so we split them a bit. Uh, it's hard to say why they're suppressed. Is never good. This is one of the things, uh, the main issues is just finding the enemy here, just spotting the damn peoples. Just get those MGs uh, out of the BTR. So the, the big thing so far I've learned from a couple of like background poking the eagle games is that the Russian infantry desperately 
uh, needs supporting with its vehicles, like in a non-trivial kind of distressing kind of way. Um, it really needs the vehicles. Even in places like woods, it needs the vehicles on hand to deliver firepower because the they, Russian infantry just can't compete with the Americans at close range. Uh, and that's the place where they're best, they're best set up to compete with them. It's no fun playing as the Russians in this game, I swear. Uh, right, have we got any of the mortars online? No, those ones are coming on. Um, they are deploying. Cool, so. Uh, next turn we should hopefully be able to get some of the mortars up and running. I don't really have enough um, information to commit any reserves or anything quite yet. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to press go and suck it up on the next turn as well. Uh, so, things to watch out for. This turn, uh, it's going to be these guys who are going to get whacked. So expecting a bit of contact up here. The BRDM is almost certainly just going to evaporate before my eyes. Uh, but I want to gain as much information as I can about what's down here. So part of me wants to send it chasing off down here. Uh, to hit those scouts up. But uh, at the same time... Yeah. Um, I need to see stuff. I need to see what's going on down there. Okay, let's press uh, go.